Hi guys, I just thought I'd come and tell you about yeah, my little adventure going to have a look at the puppy. All I'm going to say really is I do wish people wouldn't lie in adverts. It was a very long trip. I took little YY with us. She was good as gold. Um, I had to get out at one point to go to the chemist and apparently she howled like a wolf in the car. She, she doesn't like being away from me at all. Anyway, we, we travelled this very long distance. It was a 140 mile round trip. And I got to the farm. I saw the mother. And it was so bad, it, it was just frightening. I mean, you know, all animals are beautiful and none of us are perfect. You know, let me first say that. But, you know, she should never have been bred. And they certainly, certainly should not have been advertised as pure bred border collies. The mother was most certainly a crossbred. Um, and the advert also said that the mother and father could be seen new side of the father I said where's where's the where's this you know stud dog and she said oh no he doesn't live at the farm I thought okay and and I you know I, I checked the puppy over they hadn't been handled enough anywhere near enough um, and when I compare her you know okay comparisons are not always a good things admittedly but I compared how YY and Inky were at that age and she was a very shy nervous little puppy and that's no good for service work. Um, you know, I felt her skeletally, um, checked out her confirmation, and in view of the mother having two noticeable physical defects, that there's obviously a huge chance that they could be passed on to the puppies. And, and I have to be very honest here and say, when I was uh, inspecting the puppy, I felt nothing, nothing except sadness over Inky. It certainly wasn't a wasted journey because I think it, it's opened insight into the fact that clearly I haven't grieved at all about Inky because of why why sensitivity and her reflecting my emotions so totally. I do not wish because I love why why to put that level of grief on her. So it was a total fail, ladies, and and they were. <laughs> I like to go and get farm bred working sheep dogs because usually and and rightly so the farmers are breeding for their next gen generation of, of working dogs this was not not the case in this circumstance in, in this situation they were breeding for profit and I, I can't condone that I just can't it you know I have very very strong opinionated feeling feelings about the whole breeding issue you know um, Yes, I love puppies, but I will not support breeding for profit. Um, it was a £350 puppy, and with all due respect to the lady, you can't ask that for a crossbred. You just can't. Um, you know, I can get a purebred border, working border collie um, from Wales for £100, um, and it will be in the, um, if not Kennel Club registered, then in the international sheepdog registry so it, it's a no-go it's just a no-go I, I have made it was a valuable journey and as much as it's helped me make make a decision that I'm not going to get another dog um why why and I are just too close I, I don't want to upset that um and I'm going to value every single second of the day that she is still with me um and probably follow her on after she goes so I just thought I'd bring bring you up to date on that as I did say I would um, yeah a shame but it is what it is and as long as we all keep open minds and continue to learn within ourselves and about ourselves it can only be a good thing I've got a really nasty appointment that got chucked on me on Tuesday which I won't go into but I'm dreading it and I'm terrified but it has to be done so anyway I've been watching all your videos and I support you all wholeheartedly as you know I'm sorry I'm looking a bit of a wreck but it was a very long journey yesterday um, I haven't even straightened my hair or anything um, I, I, I am going to start getting back to my storytelling um, at some point I'm going to have to let the grief out for Inky um, yesterday me, made me realise that clearly holding on to it is it's not healthy for me 
but we all know that, don't we? Anyway, my beautiful friends, and you are, um, you know, I was watching Natalie the Beauty Diva, and if you're not subscribed, you should be. She, she's an incredible lady, as you all are on here. And yes, it might be virtual, but you are my friends. I value your opinions, your comments, your support, and your incredible friendship. Thank you so very much, all of you. Stay well. Take care. Bye for now.